Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned. This is another Rails uh, episode. We're going to be exploring the friendly gem. And in this gem, that's going to allow us to make pretty URLs. So something like forward slash users, forward slash David W. Parker, as opposed to forward slash users, forward slash ID of one or something. I'm going to go ahead and throw out I have a Patreon as well as a newsletter. If you go ahead and click the links and subscribe below, that'd be fantastic, and I'd appreciate your support. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have our coverage here. Let's just take a look. We have a new endpoint for users show, and you can see, I'm going to make this really big, user.friendly.findID, and then we're going to have a new serializer, and we're going to go ahead and render that out. So this is the results of the test. This is the gem forward slash Norman forward slash friendly underscore ID. And so it's pretty simple. You could see their example here. You have a URL like this instead of the ID. So we have a new gem we're going to add. We'll call bundle install to install it. We'll create a migration. We'll do a generate friendly ID and we'll migrate. We'll add and extend friendly ID on our user model. And then anywhere that you would use dot find, you would replace with dot friendly dot find. And then finally, if you already have an existing app or users, you'll want to go into a console and call user dot find each and save. And that's going to automatically generate the slug for each of these users. Fairly simple. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code. So again, first things first, we added this gem and we bundle installed on it. Um, I'm gonna go do a quick side tangent here. If you didn't watch the previous episode, we did have a new rescue record not uh, invalid, which was added. And down here, our post policy we had changed previously. You didn't see to allow more than three creations. We also commented that, that out in the post request spec here. In our logic, we made each of these the bang version of destroy and update, meaning they will throw errors rather than filing, failing silently. We added allow blank as well. So over back to our user controller here in our user. The, the first thing, like I said, we wanted to go ahead and generate that slug. So let's go ahead and look at this first. This is a file that looks something like this. It also create, it's also creates a column on slug. We already did that previously in this exercise. So you don't need to create the column again because it will blow up. But we are going to add a, a unique index on it. The next thing uh, we needed to so we're going to go ahead and we'll jump over here to our friendly ID. This is the generated file by doing the generate friendly ID. And it has a few rules to it where it reserves certain words. And you can add more than that to it if you'd like. And there's a lot of other um, things that it provides optional wise for you. You can walk through all of this yourself and determine if any of this is uh, needed for you. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and stick with defaults. It also generates another migration file, which I just deleted for the purposes of our application. We're going to add a new route. So under resources users, we're going to add show. So this will be the get show request. And in posts here, the one thing I want to do is, this is just for the future episodes, I'm going to include the user, and that's going to decrease the in plus one queries. So if you were call post.user, then that way you have an extra query. We'll cover that in just a second. So we I've changed this post index, and this is again for the next episode on the front end. This used to say user ID, uh, we got rid of that, and now I'm going to return an attribute of user. And it's going to take in a post, the post, and I'm going to return a JSON object of display name, ID, slug, 
where I call the post.user.display name or default back to the user ID. The ID is going to be just the user ID and then post.user.slug as well for that. So by calling dot user on each of these, it's going to make an extra request to the an extra database query to the user table every single time that's called. And by calling posts that include user, it's going to automatically load all of the users within that set of posts. So it's going to make one extra query rather than in queries, where in is the number of posts. So now we can get back into these last four files, which is where we have friendly. So I put extend friendly ID down here, and then friendly ID be based off the username and it's going to use slugged. And so what this is going to do is it's going to take in the username and if we have a username it's going to set that to the slug here. And then in our user controller here, def sh uh, show, so I didn't do this, it's going to be get API v1 users and instead of ID now this is going to be a slug. It has no authentication on it so I'm not going to like write anything about that. So we're going to call user.friendly.find and we're going to say take in params of ID but this is going to ultimately be the slug. And we'll run that in just a second. In fact we'll go ahead and start a server here because it'll take a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and when we have that user we're going to rescue from an active not found. So if we get in a bad param, we'll get a not found. And we'll just return a JSON object with error API not found, which if you look in our YAML, this says not found with a 404. And then otherwise we'll take in a user show, which has the user, the default show options, and then the serialized hash to JSON. The user show looks like this user show serializer. We're taking in an object serializer from FastJSON API, so same thing as normal. We'll transform camel lower as usual for our front end. And then we'll give it the ID, the slug, and the display name. I don't think I added anything else here. Nope. Okay. And let's make sure our server is started here. So it's on 3000. We go to API, v1, users, and I think 20 is one of my first users. Yep. You can see we have data ID, type of user show, and then the attributes. You can see it has the ID, 20, display, name, in camel case, and then the slug. So that's what this is returning. And then we have a new spec for this as well. So context show. We can see that if we just get a random one, it's going to return a 404. So that's see it's not found. If we go ahead and use the slug, that should also work. So you see this says the right thing. So we could use it with the ID or the slug. So it returns user of sending back by a slug. So we create a user get to the slug URL and it has 200 and we have the proper ID set. And if we send an ID in, it also works. So those are the three different tests that we have. And we also check for the 404. And that makes sure that we have coverage for the 404 here, as well as both cases for ID or the slug, which is what Friendly does. So it checks against both. So if I were to go ahead and run that, you can see it checks here. You can see it has the slug. And then if I was to go ahead and return 20, you can see it tries to find by slug of 20, and then it tries to find the ID as a backup. One thing that we're not doing that you may want to do in, in your applications is limit your slugs to not be only numeric. Because um, what that's going to do is that's going to override the default fallback. So if somebody's username is 200, user ID of 200 cannot be found by the ID anymore, at least not through the friendly interface. And then let's go ahead and show you the posts API now. Changes there. This is a lot to take in. The main difference is if I look for the user, you can see here's a user object. It has display name 20 and then tester is a slug rather than user ID. So user ID is gone. 
And the thing to note with that is if we look, you could see we have, we're grabbing all the posts still, and then it's going to grab users where the ID is in the set. So that is what that includes does. Um, if we didn't have that includes, go ahead and open that back up and we just rerun this. Those who are not familiar with in plus one queries and I run this again, you could see it makes all these extra queries for every single post where it has a specific ID attached to each. And even though they're cached, it's still a bunch of extra queries because it might not be cached every time. So get rid of all those extra queries and have one extra query only. And that is how includes works. So this is friendly ID. We're going to be using this on our posts and some other things uh, as well. So I won't be explaining it every single time. Uh, if you like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. And we're going to move on to the front end to display this. Thanks. Bye.